brand new Microsoft Surface Book, the biggest model you can get, the i7 with everything integrated, the GPU and everything. It's brand spanking new. You can see here, I just packed it out seconds ago and I had to plug it into the power source cause there wasn't any battery on it at all. You cannot even turn it on. Now I'm in Europe and my even the plug is wrong. The plug is uh, American plug, but yeah, I guess they are not available in Europe to normal people. Anyways, I started the computer up, Let's see, and you can see here, this is the first screen you get. So you want me to log in on a computer that I just packed out of the box? I mean, Microsoft, it's, I just got it. There is no user on this computer unless the computer is not new, which I find kind of strange. So I looked a little bit on the internet and it's apparently some kind of bug in the computer that it will do this the first time. I can then, as I was heard, um, shut it down now, like this. I don't know if you guys can see. So shut, shut down. I'm supposed to be able to shut the computer down and then start it up again and uh, it should take me through all the setup. If it doesn't, uh, yeah, well, then it really sucks. So let's try turn it on again in the corner here. So turning it on. See what's happened. <laughs> yeah, it takes me back to that screen, right? I mean, what the fuck? What what is it that you want me to do, Microsoft? Come on. I mean, it's a brand new computer. I have never been on it. I can't sign in with my Microsoft account because there isn't any internet. And I can't add any internet because there is no connection available. I mean, what the fuck? You know, this is stupid. Sign in options. Let's see what you have for options here. Come on. Um, hmm. What is this? What is this? This is stuff that also doesn't work. I mean, I don't really know what to do from here on out. So I'm stopping this video, trying to mess a little bit with it more. Maybe I find a solution and I will make one more video uh, to help you guys who have the same problem. Update on the video. So I rebooted the computer three, four, five times. That didn't work. Uh, I then at the login screen tried to enter my Microsoft password and email and all that bullshit and it was standing five minutes or ten minutes trying to validate but as you know before it didn't have any internet so it cannot validate. After that was done I took the power button and I hold it down to hard reset the computer or whatever you know hard boot it and I hold it down until the screen went black and after the screen screen went black, I kept on holding it until the screen goes even more black. So it was completely turned off. And then I st I, uh, I waited maybe one, two minutes and I just pushed it one time. And this is the screen I'm getting now. So I'm guessing from now on, uh, I will be able to set this computer up the right way. So I hope this video helps some of you guys who are probably gonna have the same problem. Um, I would try to reboot your the computer a couple of times. If not, follow my steps. That means at the login screen, type in your Microsoft uh, login information, hit enter. The computer will try to log in for 5-10 minutes. It cannot. Once it's done doing that, hold the power button until the screen goes dark and then the screen goes completely dark. So the computer is off and uh, then wait one minute click it one time and then you should hopefully get the screen and uh, yeah well what what do you have to say to Microsoft I'll say that the user experience of buying a new computer for 3,000 euros really 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 sucks I mean you really suck ass if you cannot make a computer and the very first thing that a user have to do has a bug I mean didn't anyone at Microsoft test this did you make the computer and just ship them out? Or did you actually open one of them and push the power button just to see if it worked or not? I mean, this is, in my book, 
in my book, this fucking sucks. 